Today we're going to discuss anti-anginal treatment in chronic coronary syndrome. How to use and combine them together. So I'm starting with basics in a way that you can see here. We have different drugs, first line, beta blocker, calcium channel blocker, two types of calcium channel blockers, dihydroperidine and non-dihydroperidine. Then we have conventional nitrates and the novel one, nicorendil, evopredin, renolazine, and trimetazidine. Here are displayed their clear indications in a way that if you have, along with CCS, some other comorbidities, then these drugs can easily be used. But in some condition, you can't use these drugs, and in some, you, you can, but it's not preferable. Like beta blocker, obstructive CAD, microvascular dysfunction, arterial hypertension, atrial fibrillation, and hepherin. These are the compelling indications for it. But if your patient is having peripheral vascular disease, type 1 diabetes, then you have to be cautious. You can use, but cautiously. But sick sinus syndrome, you can't use. Similarly, there are a few conditions for dihydroperidine calcium channel blockers, uh, 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 non dihydroperidine diltazem, verapamil. Important thing when you're using diltazem or MFL, verapamil, the patient shouldn't have sick sinus syndrome or hef-ref. So in patient with hef-ref, you can't use your patient is having normal LV function and for any reason can't use beta blocker in these patients, you can use diltazem and paracetamol. You don't have to switch to evopredin. It's only the conditions where your patient is having hefref. You can't use these two drugs. So in that situation, you have to use evopredin either in place of beta blocker for any reason if you can't use or in combination with beta blockers if your patient is not tolerating beta blocker as such. Renolazine, trimetazidine have their own uh, like indications. If you're exhausted, you already have used first line and second line. If your patient is not getting symptomatic relief, then you can use renolazine and trimetazidine. Nicorendil nitrates have similar kind of effect as even dihydroperidine, calcium channel blocker. And here, these uh, uh, simple indicators will uh, give you an idea that the green are usual combinations, reds are not recommended, like diltazem and evipredin. Uh, this undotted line, possible combinations, and dotted line drug will similar effects. So using them together, you have to think of why you're using them. And much more regarding the guideline status of these drugs, uh, we can go through that if you're starting in anti-anginal short-acting nitrates, initial treatment with beta blocker or calcium channel blocker, either dihydroperidine or non-dihydroperidine. This is class one indication. So you're starting treatment in a patient with CCS, with angina, along with antiplatelet, statin, or any other drug for any other indication, you have to start with short-acting nitrate and beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker. Then comes in if anginal symptoms are not successfully controlled, which is 2A, then you add on, can add on combination of beta blocker and dihydroperidine calcium channel blocker, all uh, like imlodipine, nifedipine, in combination with beta blocker. That's 2A. Then you can use long-acting nitrate or renolazine uh, if your patient's symptoms are inadequate controlled. When long-acting nitrates is prescribed, nitrate-free or no nitrate interval should be considered. Everpritin should be considered as an add-on anti-anginal with left ventricular systolic, that's very important. Number of times we have seen people are using everbritin in normal LV function. If patients have a normal LV function, still rate not controlled, you can use diltazem and verapamil. 
So evapretin is only for those patients who have LV dysfunction and you can't use beta blocker for any reason like bronchospasm or low blood pressure, then you have to use evapretin. Then nicorendil, trimetazine, these are all class 2B indications. According to patient status, if your patient is still symptomatic uh, with beta blocker and CCB, and these are the latest ESC guidelines, this very important point, evapretin is not recommended as add-on therapy in patient with CCS, where LV function is greater than 40%. Important, that's class 3. Don't have to use evapretin in patient with normal LV function. Combination of evapretin with non dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker is not recommended. Don't have to use them. Like verapamil and teltazim shouldn't be used with evapretin, class 3. And nitrates are not recommended in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or co administration with a, a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. So hope this basic knowledge of starting and the anginal and combining them together will help you in future regarding decision-making about use of anti-anginal in patient with God.